uh, we're just finishing up a major rebuild on a Kanabe. And um, I wanted to show you Chris Brown, uh, his, his workbench from TPR Tools. It's a, a bench that I bought a few years ago and I love it. It's just great to work with. I'll, I'll explain to you a little bit why. Um, first of all, it's maneuverable. And also, when I'm doing regulating, um, rebuilding and regulating, it gives me all kinds of information that, that I find really interesting. And it's just so much pleasure. I can sit straight. Believe it or not, my back sometimes hurts, so I don't kind of like to work underneath like this anymore. And my eyes aren't quite what they were 40 years ago. So I just don't have the same kind of x-ray vision, and I can't quite see where the sun don't shine underneath bars and underneath dampers and things like that. Well, let's just do a comparison for a second. You'll see here we have white hammers and a white shield with good lighting, uh, which comes right from behind. And you can see the let off exactly where we are. And we've taken really exacting measures in the piano. And you can see your drop and measure your drop at two millimeters. And then see that it goes back up the one. So, it, you know, this has been set. If you look over here, uh, the string height has been lowered two millimeters. So that represents it where I want it to let off two millimeters below the strings. And you can see that everything just works out. Everything is nice and straight. And in this case, we left something to show you an error. You see, this one comes up to less than one millimeter. Uh, and then we say, well, why isn't the, the, the line correct? And the answer is, we get a chance to double check our dip. And we can feel that that one is a little low. So the hammer goes a little higher. And if we check it out, yeah, sure enough, it's a little more than we want. So we get all kinds of checks and balances. And it's really easy to work. If I do this work or somebody else does it in the shop, we can take over from each other. We can tag team them and have the same results, repeatable, scientifically repeatable results. It's really very nice. And just as a comparison of having looked at how this works, let's just move this over and um, let's put the action back in the piano and have a, a comparison of what it would look like to work on the piano in the traditional way where some of you who are maybe in better shape or smarter or have great eyes or can see under places and over places. But now I'd have to work sort of under here and up there and up and down. And you know, you, you just, and you can't get a screwdriver up on top and you can't get your springs and you can't get at your back checks. And, and then you're trying to see over and under and make sure in, in the worst of conditions, and this is actually really good lighting, you can't see nearly as well. So um, what I would say about the entire thing is that yes, these workbenches are expensive, but no, no good tool is expensive. In fact, they pay for themselves and they're a pleasure to use and they're faster. So you figure it out for yourself, but I'm really happy.